I'm gonna show y'all my hair. Don't, do not say nothing about my hair, sis. <laughs> hey y'all, so I just realized I did not record an intro for this vlog. So I just wanna say I apologize. But hey girl, hey, if you're new here, my name is Victoria. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss when your girl uploads, okay? I wanna see you here. I could not start the vlog without just saying hey to y'all. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know, but <laughs> I hope that you guys do enjoy the vlog. Make sure y'all leave me a comment down below so we can kiki in the comments, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready to go. Today is Saturday night. I'm getting ready to go to a bar. Young Austin's, Augustine's, Young Augustine's with Jamima. So I'm running a little late, so I gotta go. But I just wanted to show you guys my outfit really quick. I got this set from Fashion Nova, y'all. This set is so comfortable and cute. I just cannot get over. Oh, let me pull it up. How cute this is! Like, this is so cute and comfortable and i have on these flats girl i was not gonna wear no heels these flats come from this company here i'll do a video on it soon but um yeah i have these yellow flats on sorry about the camera thing so yeah they look like heels but they're not and i just thought the yellow went really good with the green and i did my hair different today what i have in my long, well not long, it's kind of like a medium length. I just curled this unit. It's been a minute since I've actually worn this. It's a little, little stiff right now. What the hell is that in my hair? What is that? Oh, okay, I thought it was a bug, yeah. Thought it was a bug. But anyway, so I'm gonna wear this bag here. It is a bougie on a budget. If you know, you know, but how would they know? Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know, sis? How would they know? Unless you just into luxury bags like that, how would you know? How? Right. What's on the agenda tonight? Cause mm -hmm. I do need to go out, out though. I really do. I was like, I really haven't had it anyway, so it's like, oh, we're so. Hey, y'all, T. Hey guys, what's up? Having a mommy and son weekend. Um, so I have my son with me. We're trying to think of things to do for the weekend. Today we're actually going to the movies. We, right. To see Thor. Right. Because they're having $3 movies everywhere. I don't know if it's like a national thing or what, but um, to get into the movies is like $3. I don't know how much the concession stuff is. I wish I knew. It's probably the same price, honestly. I have to stop by the gas station and then also... Um, the post office and i'm gonna run into bath and body works um just really quickly because they're having a sale i think their moisturizers are like four something or was it two something i don't remember i cannot remember um but yeah so i'm gonna stop there real quick grab a couple lotions that i like and then um we'll head to the movies also actually i need to go get some snacks for the movies because y'all i'm ghetto okay your girl is ghetto she goes to the store Okay, Dollar Tree, Walmart, before she goes to the movies and she gets snacks because who's gonna pay all that money for the snacks there? Like, I'm not doing that, okay? So I got my purse, I switched my purse, I got a bigger purse and everything. Yeah. We're gonna make it do what it do. <laughs> so yeah, now we are at um the gas station. I'm about to put some gas in my tank. Y'all, I cannot keep gas in my car anymore. I don't know what it is, but like, gas just is gas just does not stay in my car no more it is so freaking annoying like i do not remember having to fill up my tank like this ever but back home you guys know i'm not from georgia i'm from nebraska a lot of the places that i would go are super close to each other here when i go places a lot of the time i'm driving like 20 30 minutes so i'm thinking that's why i can never keep no gas in my car 
but girl like ugh, i'm kind of warm what i have on but i don't want to be cold at the movies so hold on y'all uh, do not forget to go download that app i was telling y'all about i just pumped my gas i'm finna go on the app i need some hand sanitizer hold on um i'm about to go on the app and then see if i can get cash back at this gas station the app is called upside earn cash back i will have my referral link listed down below i've gotten plenty of deals on this you can get it at different grocery stores different restaurants but i usually just use it for gas stations so um you can redeem it um as like for gift cards or they'll put money in your paypal or I think you can put it on a debit card too. I'm not sure, but I usually just do PayPal or gift cards. So then once I'm done with that, you always get your receipt, okay? At the gas station as well. Um, and then you open an app called Fetch Rewards, which I have showed you guys this app before. Um, just looks like this or whatever. And you scan your receipt to get um, points, points. As you guys can see the points add up and you can redeem them for gift cards or um yeah basically gift cards visa gift cards bath and body works gift cards i actually have a gift card from bath and body works that i'm gonna go use right now um so that's why i'm always like using these type of like cash back rewards because it just it saves money in the long run so i will have both the apps linked down below not sponsored but i should be though honestly because i'm always putting you guys on to save some coin if y'all know any other apps let me know because i would definitely love to try them out but anyway so that's that but i'm about to go ahead to bath and body works really really quickly and then we're gonna find a dollar tree over here i think i'm in where am i at marietta i'm in marietta how you know how you know huh back from the movies hey, my lips is probably blue because i've been slurping on this icy me too um the movie was good i actually seen um i've actually already seen that movie so i'm not even gonna hold y'all i slept the entire movie okay because i told y'all i was tired <coughs> i think i'm starting to get sick so Anywho, um, my son don't really sit still through movies. He's still in the phase of not paying attention when we take him to movies. He's seven, but he's still not into movies. I don't know. I was paying attention, but you were just asleep. Okay. But uh, he was up doing the most. I was like, I don't even care. Do what you want. It is what it is. So anyway, now we're getting ready to continue our little play date. And we're gonna go to a park here in the area in Decatur. Um, I was looking at these apartments over here. These are actually really, really nice. And cheap. So yeah, we're going to, I think it's called, it's called Mason Park. Mason Park? It looks pretty cool. I love those, or whatever. I love those kind of slides. Where did they park? I don't even see them. Where'd she park at? Because those, those Did you see where they parked? I didn't even see them come in this way.
hey y'all so i just decided to pop in and talk to y'all real quick i didn't want y'all listening to music the entire vlog i feel like that can be very boring um i'm sorry that the vlog is all over the place oh my god i really wasn't vlogging but i was just vlogging like little stuff here and there and i'm trying to put a vlog together for y'all okay because i need space on my phone but anyway so yeah this day i just decided to go get my nails done as you guys can see i did stiletto nails these came out really cute let me know what you guys think about this. Anyway, back to the vlog. I'm about to be talking again. Hey, y'all. So, it's been a couple hours since I've been back home from getting my nails done. I don't know if I showed you guys my nails, but here are my nails. I got something different this time. I've never gotten my nails like this. And they are the stiletto shape. Let me know how you guys are liking this. I think it's different. It is kind of sharp, but I'm trying to get used to them. I am so freaking exhausted, you guys. Like, I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. My throat is hurting hurting and i noticed the weather is getting a little chilly so maybe it's just a change of weather maybe it's allergies girl i don't know but i'm feeling a little feeling a little sick today that's why after i got my nails done i came home took everything off honey except for my makeup i needed to keep my makeup on because i got work to do sorry y'all that's my phone girl who texted me hold on i to come on camera real quick just to talk to you guys about my hair y'all like uh I'm so annoyed with my hair as of lately. Like, I don't know what to do with it right now. I am in between styles. I usually just get like the straight back gel braids, call it a day, throw my wig on, and that's that. But like lately, I've been wanting to like cut my hair. Like, I've been feeling really scissor happy. And like, I want a different color. I've never dyed my hair before. So I'm really considering dyeing and cutting my hair. I don't know though because I feel like when you cut your hair you feel like it's gonna be easy maintenance but I feel like it's more maintenance when you cut your hair if you have like a short hairstyle girl let me know how you maintain it how often do you do I, mean, I guess it's gonna vary from person to person depending on your hair and how it acts and all that I really just want a get out of bed comb it a little bit you know make it look cute make it look like it is it's doing something is giving and go about my day you know what I'm saying like I'm mm, I'm tired of the frontals. I'm tired of all of that, okay? Like, sometimes, you know, you gotta bust the wigs out. I ain't gonna lie. You need you need to stun on them a little bit. But I just be wanting something for the daily, my daily routine. Just something simple, something cute, something short. I don't know. I had seen this TikTok. This girl went to Ulta to get her hair done. And I'm like, Ulta? Okay. So I might have to check out Ulta. I love the way her hair came out. She recommended a person. I don't know y'all we'll have to see but like i said we are in between styles and i have to figure out something to do with this head i'm gonna show y'all my hair don't do not say nothing about my hair sis do not clock me but we are about to do a little experiment honey and i'm really excited to see how this is gonna look on me so that being said this video is sponsored by don millie they sent me over a unit and i know i just told y'all i was tired of the wigs but this one is actually a B part unit. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can see exactly what I got. And I will also leave it down below in the description box as well. But I just wanted to show you guys how everything came packaged. I feel like everything was so nicely branded. It's a unit I would have to wear my real hair out. So I am going to have to put heat in it. But I just want to see how it looks, honestly. Because this type of wig is considered low maintenance for me. I would just have to leave my leave out straight permit whatever i'm gonna do and just put the wig on put the clips on and i'll be done you know what i'm saying brush it down a little bit that's it so <laughs> i really just want some low maintenance hair like that's what this is supposed to give okay let's go ahead in the bathroom so i don't get hair all over my carpet and let's see what this wig gonna do for your girl because girl i need help okay and i'm, I'm exhausted okay i'm exhausted at this point Let, let's go <laughs> Alright y'all, so jumping right into this video. Ooh, girl. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing of the unit. As you guys can see, they did send over a baggie of goodies. Here is the actual unit. I tried to show you guys the construction of the unit. It does have clips in it. Well, combs that you can put in your hair. Adjustable straps in the back. There is a little lace part in the back as well if you want to put your hair in a ponytail. So here I'm just showing you guys how I secured the wigs to my head. As you guys seen, I did have old braids in and I just put the clip inside of my old braids and used them as like an anchor braid. And I just kept the middle part of my hair out for leave out. So I know this is going a little fast. Hopefully you guys are 
following along and getting what I'm putting down. But as you guys can see, I'm just parting my natural hair. This is the one thing I love about this unit is you um, can wear your natural hair. I will tell you guys, though, I did experience um, a little bit of an issue trying to get the hair to blend only because I am a natural girl. As you guys can see, she's natural. Um, and I have split ends like really, really bad. So... I just had a hard time trying to blend this hair with my hair. It did blend for the most part, but if I had my ends cut, girl, it would have blend seamlessly. And I will explain that to you guys at the end. But here you guys just seeing me kind of trying to attempt to do it. I, I try my best. Yeah, I try my best. I do recommend straightening your hair and then trying to straighten the actual unit hair with your hair. I feel like that does help blend the hair as well. Because I was having a hard time getting it to blend, I will um, show you guys that I put like two twists in the front, just trying to do different things. Also, I will say, y'all see how beautiful and natural this hair is. It is so thick though. So just be aware of the density um, when you do purchase this unit as well. Here, I'm just showing you guys that I tried to put in baby hairs just to make it look more natural. That's another like bomb thing I love about this hair is that you can make it look as realistic as you want to. You could put your baby hairs and if you um, was able to get your hair to blend with this hair, it looks so natural. Like the V part in the middle, how you can just leave out the hair and just blends in with your hair. It's just so natural looking. That's the one thing I really appreciate about this hair. This hair was straight out the pack. I didn't wash it or anything like that. It was straight out the box. And I just put it on. I just wanted to see how it was going to operate. This is not my first kinky unit. I love the kinky units for the girls that have, you know, the textured hair. Because it definitely does mimic our hair. Um, and it just, it looks really, really nice. Yeah, so as you guys seen, I've been trying to blend this hair with my hair. Fortunately, I need a trim. So I have a lot of split ends and just raggedy ends. So it's not blending as well as I would like. I've seen so many beautiful tutorials here on YouTube um, of girls just showing how they blended the hair. And it came out so freaking nice. But for me, I just think, you know, because I am super, super natural, um, yeah, it's just not working for your girl. But I do have a solution. You can still get this wig if it's something that you like. Um, the hair is really thick though too. I just want to let you guys know that as you guys can see it's a lot of hair. The texture definitely mimics um, black girl hair or kinky hair. And like I said it blends so well. If my hair was you know healthier at the ends and stuff I definitely think it would look so much better. But if I was to wear this out you guys if you are a scarf lover you could definitely wear a scarf with this. I'm definitely going to do that i think i would like this look a whole lot with the scarf so you could definitely go ahead and just put it around if you wanted this is not perfect but you guys kind of see where i was going with this and you can do your like baby hairs and stuff and just make it look real pretty you know so yeah have the hair out and about I think it's pretty. The hair itself is gorgeous, though. I love, love, love the hair. I could definitely see myself pressing this, like, really pressing it. It's just that the density is so thick. So, if I did get this hair again, unless you like thick hair, I wouldn't get it so thick. But it is very pretty. And I could definitely tell that the quality of the hair is really, really nice. I love the construction of the V part, too, because it is thin enough to where it's not detectable. And it's going to lay on your scalp really, really nice. I think I'm going to wear this hair like this today. Honestly, I might go ahead and press it just a little bit, but... Thank you so much for Don Millie for sponsoring today's video. The girl will definitely be putting this wig to use when I get my ends cut because right now I'm not giving, but the wig is giving definitely. So, y'all, look who then showed up at my house at 11 o'clock at night from Nebraska. She tried to pretend like she was doing something all day. I couldn't get her on the phone. She said, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Meanwhile, she catching the flight. She catching a flight. I knew she was up to something. I knew she was up to something. But anyway, mom's, mom's back. Miss you guys. We'll see you soon. 
Don't forget, not. you are always enough. Oh God, she's back, y'all. <laughs> You gonna have to get out though. You ain't staying forever. Oh look! Oh lord! All right, y'all. We finna get her stuff together. It's eleven o'clock. I can't believe you tried to surprise me. Didn't work. But you know what? You really no seriously. You might have knew a little bit, but you didn't know for sure. Yeah. That's true. I knew though. I knew. I was like, hold on. She coming. She about to be on her way. And, and, she, the package she wants to and then she gonna have a package delivered to my house. The package Girl. she wants to come until later on. <laughs> no, busted. I knew it. I was like, you can't surprise me. <laughs> just left. I just left. You was here in, no, that was July. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She was just here in July. Right. Girl, a July. whole month. Uh, a whole, she was here a month ago. <laughs> oh, Lord. Get out of my house. No. Okay, we'll talk to y'all in the morning. Okay. Because I'm sure she's going to bother me. Yes. All right, bye, y'all. Bye, guys. <laughs>